for people to join the show because the show's blowing up here. Can you just, I want to go back over quickly your bona fides. What's your expertise in this area of protecting young people from child endangerment? Um, well, I'm general counsel at DCFS in Illinois, the major child welfare agency, a National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the national hotline, um, and I was general counsel there and he head of the cyber tip line, which is about internet child porn and child exploitation on the internet, the subject of um, what we're seeing right now in this case. You're a former prosecutor. How many years of your life have you dedicated to this topic? 30 years to child protection in all sorts of form child abuse, incest, um, child exploitation on the internet, human trafficking, a clergy abuse uh, scandals I was very involved in. So kind of everything that's um, the wide range of expertise in this area. And when Ofer Winfrey had the problem with the school, you actually you were an advisor to her too, correct? That's correct. That's correct. And worked on okay. child protection issues and legislation. As you saw the Bernie Carrick and Rudy Giuliani and the text that, that Rudy put up, Mayor Giuliani put up last week, and now have seen what Gateway Pundit is breaking with these text messages. Mm -hmm. Put forward to our audience in your, you know, nonpartisan professional way. Where do you think we stand with this part of the story, and what do you think is happening right now? Okay, these texts are an admission against interest. The this is damning evidence. Both the text last week that we saw, where Hunter said, "I caused a very unsafe environment for the kids." That's kids plural, Steve. Kids plural. Um, the the texts today that we're seeing um, are putting Joe Biden in the center of this scandal. In my opinion, my professional opinion, Joe Biden is the the center of the scandal. He didn't not apparently did not protect these children because now look at let's step back. If we look at July 2018, when all these texts are coming about um, Hunter Biden being dangerous, being unsafe, um, what does Jim Biden say? Jim blames the victim. My dad, you know, your dad blames the victim. These are all lies. We're going to shove it down her blanking throat. There's a character assassination going on about the apparently mother of this child. What is troubling to me is that it's always killed the messenger. And, you know, the American people understand the dynamics going on in this sexually dysfunctional family. Seven months before Joe announces for president, he's having his whole family blow up. All hell is breaking loose. And what does he do? He protects the predator based on these text messages. Now, that tells us a lot about the character of this man, and that's why I put Joe Biden at the center of this sex scandal as opposed to his son. And why this is so heinous and why this is such a danger for this little girl who, uh, frankly, has just experienced a trauma with the death of her father, and she now has, is going through this experience. Children who go through sex abuse have four times more likely chance of going into drug abuse, four times more likely be involved with PTSD, three times more likely have a major depressive um, episode. That is why child abuse is so dangerous for the society as a whole. And frankly, if the media isn't interested, interested in this issue, I know that the American people are. And we also know that 93% of the victims know their perpetrator. 34% of sex abuse happens with family members. So this is your classic case. But these text messages, Steve, a roadmap for the investigators. This case could have easily been resolved and prosecuted. This case should have gone to the head of the unit. You know, the FBI will say, oh, you know, we have so many cases and, you know, there's just a backlog. It's, we need more money. This is what they always say. This is what they said when I, I was involved with working on the FBI in cases. This case, because of the national security um, implications because the financial implications. What, what, do, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do, what do you mean? National security implications? The fact that um, the getaway vehicle in this crime family was Air Force Two. The perpetrator of child sexual abuse um, was on Air Force Two repeatedly, many times. Those are the national security, um, the overlay of this typical 
incest case. It became far more serious, far more grievous. And that's why, you know, another thing that I've learned in clergy abuse cases, Steve, is that where there's sex abuse, there's financial fraud. They go hand in hand. And so, you know, before Joe Biden announced for president, he should have, and he had this major scandal on, and and here's a little girl who there's a total imbalance of power and the imbalance of power I have never seen with a prominent, you know, the vice president or potentially the president of the United States um, and this little girl who's making allegations and her family is making allegations against the son of the vice okay. president. Talk about an imbalance what, 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 of power. Okay. What, what, what,